Ladies and gentlemen, some of you might remember Ed Buck. Ed Buck had two black men overdose at his home and absolutely nothing was done to this man. Nothing. Okay. Just another example of who can beat the system and who can't. So this story came out in the New York Post, September 18th, 2019. Dem donor Ed Buck arrested after a third man overdoses at his L.A. home. Ed Buck should have been in jail. You know, if we were in a just society, this man would have been jailed. You let someone find two dead bodies at your house and see if you don't get arrested. They found two people overdosed at his home in the past and they did absolutely nothing to this man. Now you got body number three and they're acting now? Kind of slow, y'all. Kind of slow. So, ladies and gentlemen, prominent Democratic donor Ed Buck was reportedly arrested Tuesday after another man overdosed on methamphetamines at his California apartment. Ed Buck was charged with maintaining a drug house at his West Hollywood address and accused of supplying meth last Wednesday to a 37-year-old man who overdosed but survived, according to K-A-B-C. Mm-mm-mm. So this one lived to tell the story. Buck injected the man with two dangerously large doses of methamphetamines, prosecutors said, according to the LA Times. Now you know what happened to the other two guys. Now you know what happened. He was injecting them with meth. With this new evidence, I authorized the filing of criminal charges against Ed Buck. Los Angeles County District Attorney Jackie Lacey said in a statement obtained by the paper. Before last week, two other men fatally overdosed on meth at Ed Buck's residence but no charges were brought against him in those cases and they should have been brought against him because shouldn't you have checked to see how that meth got into their system? Now this guy lived to tell you that he got two injections. What do you think happened to those other two guys? Ed Buck was the one that injected those drugs into their system. Okay, so the lack of legal action following the death of Jermel Moore, 26, and Timothy Dean, 55, sparked protests calling for Buck's arrest, the network said. And that's exactly what should have happened. Like I said before, you let two dead bodies be found at your house on any given day. You're going to jail. Los Angeles prosecutors portray Buck as a sexual deviant who preyed on vulnerable victims. From his house in a position of power, Buck manipulates his victims into participating in his sexual fetishes, prosecutors wrote in court papers obtained by the newspaper. These fetishes include supplying and personally administering dangerously large doses of narcotics into his victims. Not deterred by the senseless deaths of Moore and Dean, the defendant nearly killed a third victim last week. But you know what? This is L.A.'s uh, prosecutor's fault. 
because you could have done something after those first two deaths because you did not act and get Ed Buck. He was able to get a hold of a third victim. No, it is Los Angeles County's fault for not doing anything. If you would have acted on the first two deaths, there would not have been a third victim. See, this means you didn't do your job. Moore, who was homeless and worked as a prostitute, died at Buck's home in July 2017. In his journal, which was uh, reviewed by the LA Times, Moore blamed Buck for his drug addiction. Uh-huh. So he kept a journal of what he did. Now, why couldn't this journal have been found two years ago? Again, very, very poor police work and poor work by the prosecutor that did not arrest him. You know, nobody was concerned about arresting this man and it's because he was wealthy and for other obvious reasons. See, they don't wanna do nothing to people with a lot of money. Look at how long it took them to get Jeffrey Epstein. Look at how long he was out here just molesting and, and having sex with underage girls. He was out here forever doing that mess. They never act fast when it's someone like that. Okay, so I've become addicted to drugs and the worst one at that, more reportedly wrote in the diary. You know what, y'all? I think they knew about this diary. I, I just got a feeling they knew about this diary before there was even a third victim. That's just my opinion. I think they did know. Ed Buck is the one to thank. He gave me my first injection of crystal meth. Dean was found dead at Buck's pad last January. At the time, Buck's lawyer told the LA Times that he believed Dean ingested the drug before getting to his client's house. All lies. All lies. Now we know Ed Buck was the one doing all the injecting. From what I know, it was an old friend who died of an accidental overdose. And unfortunately, we believe that the substance was ingested at some place other than the apartment. Buck's attorney. Seymour Amster told the newspaper, in addition to maintaining a drug house on Tuesday was also a uh, buck on Tuesday was also charged with battery causing serious injury and administering methamphetamine. Prosecutors are requesting bucks bail to be set at $4 million dollars. His arraignment is set for Wednesday, which he can make that. I mean, the man is a billionaire. A $4 million bail is nothing to somebody like him. To me, there should be no bail. It's been three deaths and he gets a bail. There should be no bail at this point. And he should be charged with murder. He should be charged with murder. Plain and simple. You know, but, you know, because of who he is, you know, this billionaire, they're not going to do anything. He'll probably make bail and be out of jail, probably already out of jail, y'all, probably already out. But, this is how the justice system, well, it's not justice. This is how the criminal system in America works. It's a criminal system. It's, it's no justice involved in this bullshit at all. None at all. But y'all, please tell me what you think of this third victim that got injected with drugs by Ed Buck.
but this one actually lived to tell what happened. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.